Hey guys, it's Helen here with another super informative Explained With. So, university, what a great experience for many. But whether you're starting or finishing a degree, there's something you should probably be familiar with. And that's the student loan, which I'll be explaining with this play mat and these cars. On your marks, get set, go! 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 There are a few different types of student loan to navigate your way around. Today we'll be focusing on the tuition fee loan, represented by the red car, and maintenance loan, represented by the blue car. The tuition fee loan is for UK and European Union students applying to full-time or part-time courses. The money goes straight to your university or college to pay for, yeah, you guessed it, your tuition fees. The maintenance loan is for your living costs whilst at uni. The difference of this loan is that you have to be from the UK and a full-time student. But if you're a part-time UK resident or a European, then you can't apply. With the tuition fee loan, if you're a full-time student at a regular uni or college, then you can have up to £9,000. But if you're a full-time student at a private university or college, then it will decrease to £6,000. If you're a part-time student at a regular uni or college, you can get up to £6,750. But being a part-time student at a private university or college will only get you £4,500. With the maintenance loan, if you live in London at your parents' house, you can get up to £4,418. As London's pretty expensive, if you choose to live away from home, for example, at a shared house with your mates, you can get yourself a whopping £7,751. What? I'm falling, isn't it? If you're living away from home, outside London, you'll get £5,555. If your course takes you abroad for a year, you'll get £6,600. Party! Du -du 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 -du. This daiquiri was at £6,600, you know. Having all this money is very exciting. But with great power comes great responsibility. Basically, you're going to have to pay it all back. Although, if you're a full-time student, you won't be paying back anything until a year after you've finished your course. Don't forget, both the maintenance and tuition fee loan come with interest. You'll be paying back more than you borrowed. Part-time students, you better watch out, because you got to pay whilst you're studying. Ooh, kill them. So there you have it. Student loans explained in the best way ever, with a playmat and cars. Do bear in mind though, figures do change every year, so for more detailed information, go on the link on the screen. Remember to subscribe, like and share. It's completely up to you what complicated subjects we explain with everyday things. Hasta la vista!